Hello everyone, this is Team Win Clean. A soon-to-be global provider of premium facade cleaning solutions through technological excellence. Our idea is to cater smartly to the rapidly increasing demand for cleaning of high-rise glass facades. Over the last decade countries have seen increasing share of such buildings and the future promises to be glassy. Cleaning of these tall facades also has low labor efficiency and high social risk. Often we come across news of workers falling to death. We introduce a technologically advanced, automated machine for facade cleaning. Our focus is to overcome several shortcomings of current techniques. We aim at developing an adaptive setup with easy assembly and operating flexibility across facade designs and increased efficiency with minimal resource utilization, higher throughputs and low social costs. Where is the market? The growth of the Indian glazing market is impressive. Curtain walls are accepted as standard technology for high-end buildings in the country, with an explosion of projects in Mumbai and the NCR region. Today, structural glazing is a norm rather than an exception for malls and corporate structures across the nation. In geographical terms, the South Indian region dominated by Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad and parts of Kerala, contributes to 30% of the glass consumption. West India follows with 29%. Here, Mumbai, Pune and parts of Gujarat are big consumers. The North Indian market, comprising mainly of Delhi and the national capital region accounts for 20% of the total architectural glass and glazing market. East India currently contributes only 7% of the consumption. However, with a renewed focus on real estate in West Bengal, this is set to change and this regional market is growing very fast. Similar trends, though much bigger numbers are seen in USA. Globally. Facade market size was valued at 205.89 billion US dollars in 2018. It is poised to register a CAGR of 7.6% from 2019 to 2025. The rise in construction related activities has been an important factor in driving the market. Furthermore, technological innovations are leading to the development of energy saving facade materials. The best way to outperform our competitors is to offer better solutions than them. We benchmark some important parameters and give our best to take a leading position on them. Be it speed of cleaning or flexibility of operation or refilling times, Winklin performs better than some of the major players in the market today, on every front. We also try to minimize water requirements so as to be the most eco-friendly facade cleaning company. Now, we talk about our plan for operations. We can be a tech provider by selling our machines to customers or by renting them out to third parties. The other way is to be a service provider ourselves by taking up contracts for facade cleaning. The best idea is to do all of this but we analyze the different factors like capital and HR requirement, margins in the business, market size and revenue, to identify what's best for us to start with. We comfortably conclude that being a startup, it will be best for us to focus on contract-based operations, allowing us to dive in a bigger and more profitable market with lesser initial investments. WinClean can be used for many different types of buildings, unlike the currently available window cleaning product. With very few modifications in a bot, we can make bots suitable for one type of building to another, and that's what makes WinClean unique. For open buildings where there is sufficient space for pulley installment, we can use design one that consists of the cleaning module attached with pulleys. For large buildings where the window size is large compared to the normal window size, we can use Design 2 that consists of two attached cleaning modules that increase the total cleaning area and thus reduces overall cleaning time. For buildings where due to space constraints, installation of the pulley on the ground is not possible we can use Design 3. Design 3 consists of a cleaning module attached with two suction modules. In this design, the suction module provides a force to the bot to stick with the wall, eliminating the need for a ground pulley. The drive is achieved using the suction module which comprises of timing belt with vacuum suction cups attached at regular intervals. It comprises of multiple parts such as drive motor, timing pulleys and belt, rail guides, shafts and base frame. It consists of a rotating valve that avoids dangling of vacuum pipes as the timing belt rotates. It is designed in a manner to reduce weight and cost without compromising on functionality and efficiency. 
Zooming into one of the two guide rail and timing belt assembly, we can closely observe how the vacuum cups and the mechanical valve engages with the guide rail through guide pins. Basic objective of such a design is to use mechanical valve to automatically open and close the vacuum supply to the vacuum cups as they run along the guide rail. The bottom section of the guide rail is thicker in comparison to the rest of it to force open the vacuum supply, while in the rest of the section, mechanical valve remains closed reducing the effort to lift or disengage the cup from the glass surface. Mechanical valve has various components to achieve the objective of switching the vacuum supply on or off for the particular vacuum cup as required. For given two configuration states of the mechanical valve, we can observe the vacuum flow as depicted by the black arrows. Blue arrows denotes the displacement constraint is imposed by the guide rail while the spring applies force to bring it back to the normal state. The guide rail has variable thickness along the path forcing the valve open and close as desired. Finally, suction module based on vacuum adhesion is attached to the cleaning module using the connectors on both the sides. The main components of the cleaning mechanism include an external water supply facility, internal slash localized tank, pumps, valves, nozzle. The internal tank of capacity approx 8 liters continuously supplies cleaning water to the window through multiple nozzles with the help of the small pump fitted inside the bot. The external water facility pumps water to this localized tank with an outer high capacity pump to ensure the tank doesn't fall short of water. This introduction of a small tank helps keep a track of water supply and pressure. The roller installed in the starting section of the robot consists of cleaning bristles covered over a 1 meter long drum motor. This motor has sufficient torque and speed to remove any obstinate stains or dirt over the windows. The cleaning module is contained inside a rectangular assembly with a casing fitted on the top. There are hooks attached on both sides for the rope. The electrical architecture of the total robot can be broadly divided in electrical architecture for suction pump and assembly and cleaning assembly. The suction pump provides the vacuum required by suction cup by taking input from the microcontroller and its peripherals. At the same time, a control signal is provided to drive assembly for the motion of the entire system. So, in this manner motion is given to the entire robot assembly. The microcontroller provides a control signal to the water pump based upon the inputs received from the proximity sensor. The power system provides the power input to drum motor, water pump and microcontroller. So, in this way, the sub-assembly operates to clean the wall. We have performed static structure simulation of parts in ANSYS, which led to optimization in the mass, form factor. The total electrical power required was decided upon minimum maneuverability and maximum efficiency. The following areas have the potential for further improvements. The bot can be made entirely autonomous and hands-free. Advanced materials can be used for the construction of the bot. Better cleaning technology can be explored, such as ultrasonic technology. As a whole, WinClean provides a more advanced, safer, and sustainable alternative to conventional window cleaning processes by using the state-of-the-art technology and materials. Our team is dedicated and willing to strive for better outcomes in the future. The next step in our journey is to manufacture a working prototype of our model and perform various tests to increase the compatibility and safety factors of our robot.